Carly here from Pulse Music Service and I want to take today to go over some bell cover options for all the instruments. Each thing is going to have its drawbacks and its bonuses so we're going to present them all to you and you can decide which works best for you and your program and your budget. So option number one is just a basic t-shirt material cut in a square. You are going to want to overlap it. And you're just going to place the instrument on the material. Gather the material up. And we're going to take a rubber band and secure the fabric. So it is going to look like this. You will have some extra material gathered. Again, it's not going to look uh, pretty, but it is going to get the job done. One important thing with this option is when you take it off, make sure that the rubber band comes off of the instrument. We don't want any rubber bands sitting on any parts of the instrument. It will stick to it and it will actually eat and wear away the lacquer. This will work for any of the instruments. You can cut the t-shirt material down a little bit smaller for each instrument depending. So there's a little uh, extra excess. You would cut this down for the smaller instruments. That is option number one. Option number two is this is actually a book cover. They sell them at all the stores. They're relatively inexpensive. We've seen them for as low as 99 cents a piece. And it does have the pockets here, um, but it is square. So there are going to need a little bit of manipulation for this option. You're gonna slip the one end over you're going to bring back the other end, kind of turn it inside out and slip the other end over as well. And that gives you the double layer of protection. Again, it's not gonna be the most prettiest option. It is gonna be loose. If you want, you can secure it with a rubber band. So that is another option for the bell covers, and this is just a book cover that you can find any place that is selling the back to school supplies. The next option is just your basic face mask. You can manipulate these around the bell of the instruments so that they will cover them. This will be probably one of the hardest things for the students themselves to put onto the uh, bells or instruments. So with the clarinet bell, you're just gonna loop, double up, put the other side on, double up, and then you can spread out the face mask. So that will cover. You can do that the same for the trumpet and the saxophone. With the trumpet and the saxophones and uh, the trombones, because the bells don't come off, you do have to do a little bit more manipulation. You're gonna put one side on, you're gonna put the next side on, but you're gonna loop it down and kind of crisscross it onto the instrument. It is uh, an option, it does cover the bell of the instruments, but it will involve a little bit more manipulation and might be a little bit harder for your students to put on. For the larger instruments, the barony sax and the trombones, the face covers will work, but it won't cover the whole bell. It will basically just cover the center, but it does work for those instruments. So the next option and kind of uh, the, the best for easiest to put on and as far as uh, looks is a bell cover. Now these bell covers, um, we are making them here at Coles Music Service. They are two layers of fabric with elastic. You can find the pattern online. It's very similar to a fabric bowl cover. And 
just slip it onto the instrument. It's on. So this is the quick, the easiest one uh, way. It also looks the best, and there's not a lot of extra fabric or material hanging off. So it might be the, um, the best for the students. There won't be that extra added weight. These can be made to size. So you can make them for each instrument. The trumpet size that we're making does work for the alto sax and the tenor sax as well. Now for our flutes, their main concern is the air that's gonna come from the head joint and blow it across. And we do want to block that. First option, easiest, is the face mask. You're just gonna take it, you're gonna loop it around several times, each end. Get it nice and tight. And you're just gonna secure it, and you're gonna blow across the instrument. The only problem with this is that you won't be able to see your student's embouchure. So that is the one pitfall of this, but it will work. And these are just, again, they're disposable masks that everyone is wearing out in public. The best option for the flutes are uh, air shields, flute shields. It's just a piece of material very similar to your drum heads. If you have any old drum heads lying around in your band room that you can't use anymore, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out a piece of it. It can be square, you could go oval, be fancy. You're gonna do it about three quarters of the way on the flute head joint. Then you're gonna cut out holes for each section. You're gonna slip one end on. You're gonna slip the other end on. And then you just position it. Now this will naturally curve and bend, but if you feel the need to, or you want a bigger bend, you can just wrap hair ties around. You're gonna to want to use the fabric, um, the ones that are coated. You don't wanna use the rubber band ones, because again, we don't want any rubber bands on the instruments themselves. And then you can just squish position it, you can get a better, uh, more of a curve, and you can blow across it, and it's gonna direct the air down. So those are just some really uh, inexpensive options that you have for the bell covers. They are being recommended by the Colorado Study. I know that Arts Ed New Jersey, they put out their recommendations and they do recommend the bell coverings. If you need any help making them, if you have any questions, or if you don't have the time to make them and you simply want to buy them, please reach out to us. We're here for you. Our goal is to make it as easy as possible for you to have your instrumental band classes.